Hello everybody, and my name is Jacob Hermio, and welcome to the finale of the Wild West series here on my YouTube channel. Guys, this has been an incredible journey. For the last six weeks, I have took you guys all throughout Cimarron, through all the landmarks and all the locations, and I've shown you guys a lot of the history. Now, this is the one location that I've been the most excited for, and had the most anticipation for. And as you guys can see, if we turn around over here, we are here at the St. James Hotel. This location, this spot, has supposed ghost sightings, a lot of history to it, and I'm going to be giving you guys a full tour of the building and interviews that will be coming later on in the video. I'm excited for you guys to be a part of this, to be a part of this finale, and let's get it started. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey, guys. And let's go to the St. James Hotel. There's a nice bit of bed on that thing, other room. Mm, this one looks nice. This is Jesse James' room. Dude, this is the picture that they found down south of Billy the Kid. Oh, wow. That's one worth a couple of million dollars. Five million, I think. That's the only known picture that they're supposed to have of him. That's crazy. And that's how they used to look back in the day because they used to have a balcony all the way around the whole outside. This one got some cool pictures. I want to get the pictures. Somebody's in there right now. This is Doc Holiday's room. Want the light on? Yeah. See, these are still the original baskets because they used to burn coal back in the day. Oh, this wow. This is the only room that still has the baskets. Oh, well, that's cool. That's all the pictures Fred Lambert did. There's more in the hallway. We could see him 
We he used to do a lot of painting for Lambert. Hmm. I'll turn the light on for you in here. been short people because the doorways are awful short. Yeah. Oh wow. There's a lot of them. They have to share this restroom. Hmm. This is where TJ got shot at? Or this is where the end, the game, mm -hmm. and they show that career in that one where he got shot. We're going around the corner. Mm -hmm. And then he went and passed in his room. This is where the big poker game was at. to the roof. Oh wow. But it's all plastered up there now so it's just the door there now. Hmm. That's just a story for now. So isn't there another uh, haunted room here? Other than Well they're all pretty much haunted. Just more more TJs than any. This is William F. Cody's room. This is one of the bigger rooms. Check out the 23, then you can have a big clock or bathtub in that one still. See if you have orbs and Okay.
So guys, this, this is a lot of cool history, and I will be doing an interview in a little bit, asking about how the James was created and all that. So even some of Fred Lambert's pictures, they're in here as well. You get all that cool. the Rebbe Tudor. Picture of the owner. The bullet holes are up in the ceiling. Oh wow, that's crazy. And all the spurs that you see in here, Jacob, mm -hmm. John Latmore passed and he gave them to the owner of the hotel. You want the lights on to the bar if you could get them to put the lights on? Or? Uh, no, it's perfect like this. Oh wow. That's cool. So I started working here uh, probably the first time in 2008. Um, that's when I had my first ghost room encounter. And it was up in Mary's room while I was cleaning her, her room. The door kept closing on its own. Um, that door usually doesn't have an issue staying open, so something was going on. Um, I got kind of scared to get locked in at the time, so I, I spoke up and I said, hey, you know, can you just leave the door open while I finish cleaning and I'll be out of your hair? Um, and oddly enough, the door stayed open. So um, that was the first experience I've ever had here. Um, this place was established in 1872 by a French uh, naval chef who also did a tour in um, the U.S. Army, or Navy actually. He was on the first American submarine. Um, it was dubbed the Alligator. He, um, he started cooking in a small eatery that he purchased in Elizabethtown, which is a sm uh, small mining town nearby. Um, and that's, that's when he came to this area, um, and he came during the gold mining era to, um, see if he would strike gold like everyone else. And that didn't work out too well, so he, um, he stayed cooking. Um, at that time he moved down to Cimarron area and purchased the St. James as a small structure in 1870 from Land Baron Lucian Maxwell. Um, and from that point on, he kind of just built built the place up. And by 1880, they had, had a grand reopening. And um, it's been since then known as the St. James Hotel. So uh, this year, 2022, we celebrated 150 years of serving our customers, um, hopefully as well as he did. Um, 
other ghostly experiences that I've had in the time that I've been here. Um, I've heard whistling and spurred footsteps in the saloon area while there's been nobody else in the, in the building. Um, I've had ropes to the rooms um, swing. We, we block off the rooms with these ropes and they kind of just sometimes will swing on their own. I've, I've stopped it from moving and it starts moving again on its own. Um, another regular thing that happens is, you know, you see a lot of stuff out of your peripheral vision um, during your days here. Usually when it's quiet, um, I tend to uh, get a lot more uh, people come down from a night stay talking about experiences during the time of, of a full moon, usually that week when there's a full moon. Um, this morning, as a matter of fact, a guest came down and, um, and he could hear um, doorknobs shuffling upstairs in the hallway that he was in as if somebody was trying to get in or out of a room. Um, and there was nobody in his hallway except for him, so that was pretty cool. Um, we get lots of guests that come down and show us neat videos and pictures of things that they've captured during their stay um, or talk about different types of experiences they've had, such as um, caressing of the shoulders or the hair, um, weight on their bed as they're laying in it, as if somebody has sat down next to them. Um, but that's just a few of many. So. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, um, EXST James on Instagram, and Historic St. James Hotel and Saloon on Facebook. All right, guys. This. Thank you guys so much for watching the series. It has been a pleasure to be a part of this journey. Um, but guys, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is the finale of the Wild West. There's a lot of noise back there. A lot of noises out here but guys um i got i i announced this series back in october of last year and i didn't know what i was gonna do for this series i didn't know what episodes i was gonna do i didn't know where i was gonna go what i was gonna talk about um but a lot of people helped me with this series as you can tell by the end credits i always give credit to who's helped me with gathering information and stuff like that so the one thing i do want to tell you guys is was that i was able to go in um, TJ's room, which is room 18, which is the most haunted room here at St. James, as you guys know, and as you guys have seen in the video so far. Um, he was sought during a game of poker because I, I think, I think what I saw online was that he won the, he, he won the, he won the, he won the James, um, he won the building, and the people didn't like it, so they sought him in the hallway, and he just kind of drags his body into his room where he eventually died, and, um, so I was able to go in that room for the very first time. It was, it's really cool in there. Um, I was not able to, I was not allowed to film or take pictures or anything like that. But it was a really cool experience for the series. Um, I've had a lot of fun throughout the six weeks and all the episodes. Going to the old jail, going to the cemetery, uh, talking about the Santa Fe Trail, going to the, the Merc, the, 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 the Merc, and, and just showing you guys a lot of uh, my town and a lot of people have been enjoying it, I've been seeing. So, thank you guys so much, and just to let you guys know that something will be coming up next year, and this is not the last of the St. James Hotel. This is not the last of the St. James Hotel that you guys will be seeing on my channel, and uh, you guys will soon know exactly what I mean, but thank you guys so much for watching this episode, the finale. Hope you guys do have a great day. I'll see you guys all Later. Bye. Say